So people are confused why a lesbian would want to come to Japan. On March 15th, the Osaka District Court ruled that the Japanese central government had to grant a refugee status to a Ugandan woman in her 30s who said that she fled to Japan because she was being prosecuted for being a lesbian back home. What she told the court was a shocking story of horror and survival. She said that in Uganda, she was forced to marry a man 20 years older than her. She then became pregnant, but suffered miscarriage due to her husband beating her. She then went back home, probably seeking refuge and solace. But when she told her mother that she was a lesbian, her mother started beating her with a cane. She then left the house to live with other lesbians, but her trouble didn't end here. One day, the police came over and instructed the women to hit each other until they bled. She still has the scars from that day. After being detained for three months, she was then forced to work at a farm. Fearing for her life, she fled to Japan in 2020. So she's been trying to claim a refugee status for the last three years. The Japanese government argued that reports of homosexuals being detained or punished in Uganda lack credibility. However, the Anti-Homosexuality Act that passed in 2014 in Uganda means that lesbians will receive life in prison in Uganda. The court ordered the government to grant the woman refugee status as she could be prosecuted for being a homosexual if she returned to Uganda. Some Japanese people were confused why she came to Japan to begin with because gay marriage is still not legal in Japan. This user says, there are many refugees from Uganda in the UK, so why did she choose Japan? Currently in Japan, there's some backlash against the LGBT movement because the government is trying to pass the Equality Bill. This bill is extremely vague and it kicked off a mass hysteria because people are afraid that if it got passed, it might mean that a man claiming to be a woman could just go into a female onsen hot spring. According to the refugee, her broker just happened to have a visa to enter Japan. I'm glad that she wasn't sent back, but at the same time, I don't think Japan has the best track record when it comes to helping refugees become integrated in society. So I hope the situation in Japan improves towards the refugees or she might find a better place to relocate to. In the West, I am starting to see some backlash against the LGBT movement because of things like Netflix having non-binary bison in kids' cartoon. My heart says that the way I feel most myself is to go by the name Fred. That's because I'm non-binary, and I also use they and them. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I'm sorry I used the wrong name and pronouns. Thank you for showing me your heart. People who make these shows are on the fringes. I do not support them at all and people who make these shows do not represent the everyday gay people. I don't think kids can comprehend the notion of two or more genders. I mean, kids need to be taught numbers by some random Dracula. Do we even know where he comes from? Ah, that's one. Two bats. Ah, ah, ah. One gender, ha ha ha. Two genders, ha ha ha. Three. <laughs> but. We have to remember that there are places out there in the world where basic human rights do not exist. So even though in the West we are starting to see some backlash against the LGBT movements, I just want to say people who are pushing these crazy things don't represent the actual gay people, the actual everyday gay people, and that there are places in the world where basic human rights do not exist. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I would like to thank the Japanese government to accept me to live in Japan. I know everything will be fine because now I see bright future for myself. <laughs>